Hey guys, I've recently noticed that a lot of new players have jumped to Ark since the launch of Ascendant. So today I've decided to give them a helping hand. Grinding is a big part of Ark, and that can become very annoying. Especially if you happen to want to craft a Diplodocus saddle and you're gathering metal from river rocks with a pickaxe. But have no fear, because today I'm going to show you what are the best creatures to use for every resource in Ark. By the way, today, the 24th of November, is my birthday. So feel free to leave a comment down below, even though I think you will see this on the 25th. But enough of that, we have a lot to talk about, so let's go. Starting off with berries. We have the Bronco, with its proficiency, huge weight and huge AoE. The Stegosaurus is another good option, thanks to its versatility and ease of tame, but just about any big herbivore can fill this role. For seeds, the Iguanodon is the best, since it can turn all the berries into seeds in its inventory. For wood, we have the Mammoth with its proficiency, weight and AoE, and the Castoroid with even better proficiency. The Stego and the Theri are as well very good options. Charcoal cannot be harvested on the island, so your only option is burning wood. For Thatch, the Bronto and the Trike are the best, thanks to their proficiency and ability to level lots of trees in no time, but the Stego also has a specialized attack for Thatch, so he's not that far behind. For Stone, the Dodicorus is in a league of its own. Combine him with an Argent or other high weight flyer for maximum efficiency. For Flint, Metal, Crystal and Obsidian, the Ankylosaurus is the best you can use, combined with a high weight flyer. But if you want to mine resources underwater, the Dunkleosteus is your best friend. For Fiber, the best is the Therizinosaurus, but both the Moss Chops and the Gigantopithecus can be tamed and used earlier for similar results, or you can just use a Sickle. For Hide, Keratin and Pelt, the Therizino, Sabertooth and Direwolf are the best gatherers in which he found out how much height per minute you can get using some of the most popular tames in the game. So if you love numbers or want even more information, go ahead and check out his video and tell him I said hi. Now if you don't have access to pelt, you can use the scissors to get wool from Ovis or human hair from you. Biotoxin is collected from Nidaria on the island, and the best creature for this is the Basilosaurus, since they cannot be stung by the jellyfish. The Spino is also big enough to kill them from a safe distance. For raw meat, raw prime meat and mutton, the carnivores with bite attack are the best. Giga, Karkar and Rex are the creme de la creme, but any carnivore with a bite attack is good enough. For raw fish meat and raw prime fish meat, the Spino is the best. But if you need some prime in the early game, either the Moss Chops or the Sickle will be your best choice. Bonus: The Ictyroneses can be used to gather raw prime fish meat from any fish. For organic polymer, the Sabertooth, Direbear and Pelagornis excel, but using an above average quality club will work just as well. Sap is a resource used in many recipes, but cannot be harvested using dinos on the island. Using tree sap taps on redwood trees is the most efficient method. But for the sake of this video, the Archaeopteryx, of all things, can gather sap if left wandering around the redwood area. Giant bee honey is collected from hives on the island. And the best gatherer, and only gatherer, is the Dire Bear, giving you twice as much honey as you would get using just your hands. Oil is a strange one. The Anki is the best gatherer from surface oil rocks, while the Dunk Leo does even better with the submerged ones. Additionally, the Dunk Beetle can actually turn poop into oil for free, so you can actually get an infinite oil factory in your base. Rare mushrooms can be harvested from swamp trees and crystal nodes. And the best for this are the Mammoth, Terezino and the Anki, but you can also find them in beaver dance. Rare flowers on the other hand are found across the map in different types of vegetation. The easiest way to collect them is in the swamp, where you have to search for these red flowers. The best harvester is the Terezino specialized in delicate harvesting when using the fiber gathering attack. Other herbivores like the Mammoth or Moss Chops can also do the trick but the Theri has the added benefit of not being attacked by most swamp creatures. But you can also find these things in the beaver dams. Cementing paste can also be gathered from beaver dams, but it can also be collected using the Bilzebufo when killing bugs. The Akatina can also be tamed and used to produce an unlimited amount of cementing paste substitute, known as Akatina paste. Chitin can also be used to craft cementing paste, and can be gathered from all insects slash arthropods. 
The best getter for this is the Megatherium, thanks to its insane proficiency. But the Sabertooth and the Terizino are also very good options. Leech Blood is used for lesser antidote, and leeches can be found in the swamp areas or the swamp cave. Direwolves are the best at gathering leech blood. Silica pearls can be collected from crustaceans, with the direwolf and otter of all things having the best proficiency when gathering from corpses, or off the ground, either using your hands or the anglerfish for 4 times the efficiency. You can also find them in beaver dams. Black pearls, on the other hand, don't have a best gatherer on the island, as they can only be collected from crustaceans, cephalopods, alpha tuzos, and alpha mosas. If you want to farm some Eurypterids at the bottom of the ocean, the Ichthyosaurus is the best, thanks to its immunity to Torpor. But for larger creatures and alphas, the Bacillo is probably the best to use against them. Bonus number 2, the Otter is able to collect silica pearls and sometimes even black pearls from fish if you send it to kill some. Angler Drill is a resource gathered from anglerfish, surprise surprise, and is the most potent fuel that can be burned in the game. 100 wood can keep a refining forge on for 50 minutes, while 100 angler gel will keep your forge running for 6 hours and 40 minutes. Strangely enough, the direwolf is the best harvester in the game for angler gel. The best aquatic choice you have is the megalodon, though you're better off just using a higher quality metal hatchet for this one. Ammonite bile and woolly rhino horns are all byproducts with a fixed amount, and all carnivore creatures can gather them at the same fixed rate. Element can be currently collected only by defeating bosses in Ascent, and the amount you get is fixed. But again, for the sake of the video, the Rex and the Terezino are two very well-rounded boss fighting dinos that you can use in your army. And lastly, the Absorbent Substrate can be harvested by killing Tuzos. Use a Bacillosaurus which is immune to the Tuzo grab and you will have no problems. And that's it guys! The best creatures in ARK for every resource currently available on the island in ARK Survival Ascended. Now, I've made this list using both knowledge acquired from personal experience and previous videos, as well as knowledge found on the ARK Wikipedia, which might not be 100% correct. So let me know in the comments if I fail to mention any top tier collectors that you know about. If I'm being honest, the short version of this video is just use the Terezino for everything. And if the Terezino can't collect it, use the Ankylosaurus. Give the video a like, subscribe and tell me in the comments what do you think is the hardest resource to collect currently in ARK. God I hope I got them all because I've already had to record this like 3 times. Until next time, Spartacus out.